There he is, guys. Thank you so much for being patient for those that have been waiting. Look at this. I've got the blue halo lights installed into the headlight area. <laughs> the camera making them look a little bit odd, but I assure you they are straight centered. This is my Cross RC PG4L 1 tenth scale electric RC trail truck. Dually. The body is not mounted on properly right now. That's why you see a little bit of a gap here. Still working on it. Uh, in collaboration with my buddy Ryan from Bloodshot Airbrushing here on YouTube, the Bloodshot channel, uh, he helped me uh, make my dream a reality with his airbrushing skills, taking my favorite smallest Autobot and turning him into a truck. You can see <laughs> Bumblebee-ST, Bumblebeast with the AllSpark flowing through his body, through the back bed. Everything looking so sharp right now. And with parts slowly arriving, still, uh, I'm able to continue working on it. Now, I wish I had my proper sound kit. I did buy it from Cross RC, uh, waiting for that to ship. I did email them uh, and say, like, where is it? <laughs> they said, be patient, it's almost there, so I'm waiting a little longer. Uh, but I did go to an online store in the UK uh, and bought a whole bunch of stuff there as well that I couldn't find other places like, dun 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 dun, dun. I hope this roll bar fits. It's, uh, because a truck like this definitely should have a roll bar. The size of this snorkel kit is enormous uh, and I have to drill some holes so I'm a little bit concerned about that. We'll see if I do that. Um, and then of course just some spare parts like uh, the axle cups on the end, right? Um, or some axles themselves because I want to have spare parts. I can't get these at my local hobby store. They just don't have them and distribution for cross is kind of tough to find. So I also also got my aluminum C hubs. Now they don't come in anodized yellow, <laughs> which would have been awesome. Uh, but I think even still, this will look fantastic under there. I wish I could find the steering horns, uh, or not steering horn, pardon me, the steering knuckles. I'm sure I will one day. Uh, and then of course, just some, um, some lights with the aluminum cups. But I wanna see because I may have a light bar that could fit the top of this. I haven't measured yet, but I want to see. Guys, let's get building. Now, when I remove this canopy, it actually looks like a mess of wires under there. And it is, even though I cleaned everything up. Let's get you in here closer. All clean, but the light controller is there. This is the receiver, my ESC. And then of course I have special lights in here. So this is a different light box. I showed that in the last film running a 3S5400 uh, milliamp hour 50C discharge battery. Don't really need the 50C on there, but I'd rather have a little bit too much than not enough. Uh, plus I have the sound kit still coming. Uh, so that has to be taken care of. But right now what I'm gonna focus on is getting these uh, tires off and uh, getting those C hubs on. remove my battery just so it doesn't accidentally get poked with a screwdriver or something like that. It's part of lipo safety is when you're having a soft lipo, it doesn't have a hard case on the outside. Uh, make sure to remove it when you're working on the truck because if you accidentally cut this thing uh, or poke a hole in it, this whole thing can go up in flames and smoke, right? So you got to have lipo uh, uh, bags or at least have an area where this can be put out of the way safe. Now here I am on the driver's side of the truck. Now this is one of the concerns I have for it right here. This is the hub cover. You'll see it has an O-ring in there, but if it's not on there properly or gets bumped a little bit, I'm concerned I may actually lose this out on the trail. Use the tire to sit the axle on. All right, and then I'll just slowly remove the C-Hub. A lot of people might be wondering right now and asking me why would I be replacing a brand new piece like this when I haven't even run the truck yet? Um, and that's a great question. 
Normally I would suggest running everything stock to see how it goes, uh, but in a show truck like this, I don't mind adding a little bling. And I also know that when you have quite a bit of power, I'm not saying this one does right now, um, but if you have any kind of low gear, this piece can get a lot of torque and it'll usually snap right up here in the elbow area. And it really, to me, I'm not sure how this plastic, what it's, um, comprised of, but it doesn't really feel like it has a lot of nylon. So that's why I've chosen to go to the aluminum C-Hub uh, for this truck. Okay, I'm inspecting it. I don't really see an indicator of right and left, but they are clockable, so that's good. Let me see here. That's basically right where it was sitting. Use some Loctite on these screws. Gotta get that gasket in there. Turning it around, checking it on all sides. There, I just felt it pop in properly. Beautiful, oh, I'm happy with that. When, it, when I felt it sink in there, <laughs> I knew it was great. <laughs> Okay, and then have a look down here. It looks a little out of place. The red to me, I don't know if it does it for me. I may de-anodize them, but maybe it'll grow on me as I'm working as well, right? Like, well, I don't know. Maybe they actually are pretty cool. <laughs> that's exactly how it all happens, hey? But at least it's stronger for me. Uh, and that's exactly what I wanted here in the front end of Bumblebeast. Everything is going to be about strength, of course, when it comes down to a nice trail truck. Um, will this thing be uber capable? I don't think so. Not without extra large tires because this pumpkin housing is pretty large. It's like old school axial pumpkin housing size. Um, so we'll see. It might need a bigger lift on the tires, but that'll make it difficult because it's a dually. And so the whole thing will need a lift. But overall, who cares? Let's put on the roll bar. Yeah, the only hardware I got is staples. <laughs> Looks nice. It's plastic. It's lightweight. Pretty standard stuff. A dual bar. And then this one right here. Two rubber O-rings, these that I'll be breaking off, and it looks like there should be screws that go with it, but I will be supplying my own, I suppose. So, goes like this, like this, there we go. That's odd. I wonder if that's gonna fit in this truck. Wouldn't that be something else? That is not going to work. What if I did it on the side? Yeah, that could work. I have to figure out how to, how to do that though. It's not tall enough. Okay, there's my one too many RC's LED light, which is cool because it's white and yellow. I'm not sure if I need it. And you know what? With the distance of the box where it is, and this being for a different cross RC truck, I don't think I like it. Well, yeah, like it's not, it doesn't fit for me, right? Like I could make this fit and do something, but it's too chromey. And I could paint it, I guess. You can hear the dilemma. I don't think I like it. Oh, it's kind of growing on me though. It's, it's hard to say. Like it's a nice roll area, I guess. Hmm. It is growing on me back there. That's what she said. There's so many of them, guys. I'm always so wrapped up in what I'm saying. I forget the humor of what's happening. <laughs> Cause this would be there. Yeah, I guess it could go on there. I just want to make sure Bumblebee looks awesome. I don't know. We'll wait on this one. Uh, next I have is the snorkel. I love how they spelled it. Snorkel. <laughs> I wonder if this fits. Oh, this one has instructions though. That's good. 
Yeah, off camera, I've been sitting here confused for about 20 minutes here. Not confused in, I don't know how to install it, but confused in the way of, is the, is the snorkel even worth it to put on there now that I see it? Like, it's not like it's the most beautiful looking thing I've ever seen, but it's functional. And if I was to put it on there, I don't like how long it goes down the, the hood. It's gonna cover up some of the painting. So number one thing, I'm gonna cut it. And we would have modified it anyway, if this was a big truck, because I wouldn't want that going down the whole side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it right around the dot .com area. That way we don't cover up Ryan's beautiful painting. It doesn't look silly when it says, well, I could do rc.com. <laughs> I guess I could do that. Um, yeah, let's see how this goes. But number one, I'm cutting it. Man, and I've been now, I've been off camera again for like another 30 minutes just contemplating, am I going to cut this to go on there? And you know what? Like, I just don't think I want the snorkel on there at all. It just doesn't do it for me. And for being Bumblebee, being a dually, I don't really see many duallys snorkeled. And I guess I should have thought of that before I bought the snorkel, but at the same time, I don't want to drill into this amazing paint job. Like, it's just too nice. Not too many uh, vehicles I have that I would call shelf kings, that's for sure, but, uh, you know, <laughs> a work of art is a work of art. And as soon as I, like, put the, the, the screw in there and the sound kit comes together, I may look at doing that again, but I definitely want to go in and first shave off these posts I was thinking about it and instead of drilling into it I could still use like shoe goo or something like that um, even if I use like a double-sided tape if I was careful about it I could put it onto that paint job um. okay so I have decided to use the back um, uh, roll bar here. I know that, that'll disappoint some of you, but for me, for mounting a light, for proper trail uh, use, I could use a light bar up there. And so I'm gonna have to modify this. You can see the way it's sitting right now. I don't mind the modified look. What I'm gonna have to do is to mark out where this is. And then with the one too many uh, RC's light bar that I have, ba 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 ba, this is gonna be able to fit on top nice and easily and give me lots of great light now how would it fit with the bumblebee whole theme I'm not sure uh, <laughs> but at the same time I'm just having fun with RC guys that's what it's all about and if you don't experiment and don't have fun you know then then you know what's the whole point of the of the uh, hobby itself I guess so yeah let's see what happens making a small pilot hole for my drill bit to be going through to where I want to mount up the supporting brackets of the roll bar. So what I was doing was just drilling a hole so I could get a screw to come all the way through from the other side. I'm gonna do the same on the opposite side. There we go, nice and solid. Good, so if I have a rollover, I don't have to worry about cracking the back box or anything. Um, I'd like to countersink these screws right here, but for the time being, that works perfect. You guys can have a look in the back. So here I've angled them in a little bit, made sure they're even just on the outside of the tire well. <laughs> I love RC. Just the different types of things you can do with it just always fascinate me. I'm still gonna wait on this. I'm sure that one day I'll end up putting it on. I just wanna figure out exactly what shape and how to close off the end here. Cause on the snorkel, you'll see, whoa, slippery. 
if you can see there that the way they actually have it mount is above the hood as well so it's kind of got this small indent here where it just sits on top so i don't know it just doesn't look right to me even though it would be exceptionally functional how often would i be in the water this is really a a, a puller truck eh? a cruiser truck light bar or standard lights that's the tough choice for me I've got to hook up these light buckets so I can at least uh, get an idea of what each one of these looks like before I commit to either one. You know, what do you, what do you think of that? That's one way, I'm not sure. And then I've got the one too many light bar right here all right my friends that's where i'm going to leave it for today uh be involved i want your guys's opinion should we put the snorkel on or not should we leave the light bar on i haven't attached it yet or shall we remove the light bar altogether shall we leave the back rack in or should we use the light pods there's so many options and i think that's what makes this uh, hobby still interesting for me uh, even after all this time and the builds that i've done i love unique uh, creativity and i think this project definitely encompasses that uh, guys thanks a lot for tuning in hopefully you've enjoyed the show let me know did you watch to the end of the video today get outside and have some fun my friends and we'll see you in the next episode of rc adventure we're getting closer. I can hardly wait for the sound kit.